Check it out guys, absolutely nothing left at this Toys R Us. Everything has been wiped clean. Hey guys, your boy Rook here, and I'm at Toys R Us right now in the last four days at my location, my Toys R Us. I'm going to swing around here so you can take a look what I'm talking about here. Uh, these are the last four days at my current location, 70 to 90% off, four days counting. And again, I'm very unfortunate that it is the last few days of Toys R Us. They have a new thing here saying no cash checks uh, or debit cards accepted, only credit cards at this location. So that's it, guys. Unfortunately, they're at 70 to 90% on. Toys R Us counting down, and again, it is very, very sad that we are at our few, last few days for Toys R Us, so I'm going to head inside and see what we can find anything cool. Back in a second for more cool stuff. Check it out, guys. Absolutely nothing left at this Toys R Us. Everything has been wiped clean. Rows and rows of empty shelves. Again, this is the last four days left. I just wanted to showcase a little bit what was left of my Toys R Us before they closed down. Again, it is very unfortunate. I probably won't even be able to find anything here. Literally everything has been wiped clean. But I want you to kind of get some type of scale and perspective of what's left here. Um, again, this is the last four days, I keep mentioning of this video, of Toys R Us. I'm spinning kind of a 360 panoramic shot so you can see everything that's what's left or what is remaining in Toys R Us. I'll go through parts of the store and keep shooting some more video. Hopefully we can find something in the last few days. And more shots of empty walls near their bathroom and loading dock. Again, not much left. I saw two small little areas that had stock still left. I'm going to get to that in a moment, just when it clears up, because right now there's a lot of people in those sections. Uh, back momentarily, just again, seeing some more empty stuff so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And these are the aisles I was mentioning in the prior piece of the video that actually have stock left. They still have a lot of those T-Rex Battle Zords at 70% off. Uh, these guys here are normally $50. Uh, they're actually $19.99 on sale at 60% off uh, from what it looks like here. It's weird because it has a 70% off item here. So I think that should be 70% off, not 60% based on this right here. So again, they have tons of these. Actually, it is 70% off. I saw another sign right here. These are $15 a piece. So again, unfortunate. Tons of little Star Wars pieces here. They have the vintage set here, which I might pick this up possibly. This is $40. Um, this might be something I might grab. I don't know yet. Maybe. We'll see at the end of the video if I'm actually going to pick it up or not. I haven't decided. Uh, so they have the uh, couple, or the, the AUG figures that we've seen before. Uh, we have a couple uh, Force Awakened Saber kits, the Blade Builders. We have another BB-8 playset sort of thing here. That's normally $150 bucks for $45, 70% off. And they have these rusty rivet things. I'm not sure what this is all about here. It's a Build Me Rivet thing. I never saw this before, so I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. And they have more of it here throughout the entire section. These are all 70% off all these items, as you can see right here, me going through the entire section. I'm going to swing back to that Vader uh, set. I've seen it before in other videos I've actually shot. I'm not entirely sure yet. It's something I'm thinking about. What do you guys think here? Let me just put it up here so you can see. This is probably going to be 70% off. This might be like 10 bucks. This is something I might actually get. And we had a couple of the two packs, the Warrior Honky Tonk Man, and they had several of these here. Um, I think these are $24.99. So at about 70% off, you're looking at about seven, seven and change, eight bucks for these guys here. Uh, not too bad. They also have these Zack Storm things, which I'd never seen before. So back shortly with more stuff. Uh, one of the few items they had left here are these Power Ranger Zords for the Ninja, I think it's Ninja Storm, or excuse me, Ninja Steel. Uh, these were normally a hundred bucks. These are thirty dollars now, seventy percent off. Uh, they have stacks of them, as you can see here. This is one of the few items they actually have remaining at Toys R Us. They also had a small wall of these Shopkins plushes, but they have a massive amount of these guys right here. These are normally Fifteen bucks for four dollars and fifty cents. These are from the Frozen series. This is sort of like a troll guy here. But as you can see, there's a huge wall of them right here. Seventy percent off of all of these guys. These trolls. So um, I'm not a big trolls guy. I'm not a big Frozen guy. I've, I haven't even seen the movie, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting showing these guys off to you. Yep, four dollars and fifty cents. 
And the last section I want to show is a small little piece of Toys R Us, what's left of it. They only had, like I said, two sections that had toys left on it. These are all those Ravens we saw in a prior video. Uh, these are going for $3 a piece, these rock candies. All they have left for their pops is this selection right here. This is it. Mr. Robot, that's all they have left of their pops. A couple aliens, a Terra, that's about it left, guys. And that's it for Toys R Us. They do have one on the spot here of Amiibos. Uh, they have tons of the little meals for the uh, Animal Crossing, so this looks to be it, guys, at Toys R Us, so uh, back shortly with more stuff. All right, guys, the hunt for today is unfortunately over. I wanted to get this hunt out for you guys. I haven't shot one in a long, long time, and I wanted this one to be kind of special because it's the last real few days of Toys R Us in the U.S., at least near me in, in South Florida. And I wanted to really hit home the point of this place now really going away, hence those empty shelves that I shot. I want the audience to really feel the, the, the gravity of a great toy giant that we've seen years and years ago now have just fallen and became a destroyed legacy. Uh, it's very, very sad, at least in the U.S. Canadian viewers and watchers, you guys are still lucky. You're going to have your Toys R Us in your locations. But I want to really hit home the idea of the place really going away. And again, this will be closing in four days as far as the recording of this video. But everything there was 70 to 90% off. Fixtures, everything. And I found something really, really cool. They only had two real aisles consolidated together. Uh, they had some action figure stuff, a few pieces. They had the Star Wars Black Series item, which I'm going to showcase in a second. They had the aisle I showed where it had a few Funko items, mainly Mr. Robot and the Rock Candy Raven. I didn't get any of that stuff. I decided to pick up this thing. I mentioned it in the video. 40% off the Legacy Pack here. We got, of course, Darth Vader in the 6-inch scale. This is an exclusive item for this particular piece. And I wanted it because of the Vader, and I wanted it because of this item right here. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see it right there. There it is right there. The sort of diorama piece where you can put all your figures on it. I don't really have a collecting display piece for all my Black Series stuff yet. I thought this would be a very, very cool idea. Again, we got this normally, it's $40 US, we got it for $12 at uh, Toys R Us. This was 70% off, so I'm very, very happy to add that to my collection. And I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers. Definitely click that like button, always click subscribe with a picture of my face. I haven't talked about it in a long, long time. Over here is my P.O. Box. If you want to send anything for me to review, if you want to send me Q&A ideas, if you want to send me art, fan, uh, fanfare stuff, anything you want me to showcase on the channel, I will absolutely do. And of course, last but not least, you can click over here to watch more of my content. Take care guys, I'll see you next toy hunt, and bye bye.